and hello YouTube, GS Nam Smart here, and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to crop out or cut out parts of an image that you only want to use in your design in Illustrator so you don't have to keep on going back and forth between Photoshop and Illustrator and do all of your cutting and cropping. You can very easily do your own cuts in Illustrator here with a few extra steps, but it can turn out just as great. Hey everyone, GS Banana Smart here today with another brand new video for tutorials with GS. And welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here on the channel, I hope you enjoyed the video. We have plenty of other tutorials on the channel regarding image editing, video editing, audio editing, tutorials in GIMP, Audacity, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, all kinds of cool things. So if you're interested in that, would highly encourage you to subscribe. And also make sure you hit that bell notification icon in the bottom of the video so you can keep up to date with all the latest videos. So what we see here is I have a little card design. Uh, here's my background. Here are my words, and here are my outlines. Now, say I wanted to take this vector design, and I wanted to put it into my card. Uh, the thing is, though, is that we wanted to drag this in. We could drag it in like this, and essentially it's the same thing as a place. However, we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Place. And we're going to go ahead and select our graphics here. And we're going to go ahead and place it. Now, if you only wanted to get a certain piece of this artwork here, say we only wanted to get the bottom corner, we don't want to use this entire graphic here. We only want to use the bottom corner here. And because it's very big, we want, may want to resize it as well. So I'm going to resize it just a little bit. And I think that's good. a bit of pixelation going on, but that's not really the purpose of this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. And I want this graphic to be part of this layer set here. So now that we have our graphic in, the question is how can we get only this part of the graphic so it fills this square? And you can very easily do this with a clipping mask. So if you grab your rectangle tool here on the left, and you can also do this with your pen tool, you can draw a shape around the selection that you want to keep. However, the rectangle tool works great here because we have a rectangular artboard here, uh, a rectangular area that we want to crop to. So we're going to grab our rectangle tool. And we're going to start just making a box here. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag it out to the edges of this card because that's where I want it to end. I want it to go underneath these borders and not go past it. And I also want to drag the bottom here all the way down to the bottom line. And what I can then do is I can go to, this is my shape that I just created. And this is the design that I have. If I go and select both of those, go and select them. By selecting them, you have to click this little button here on the right side. Hold down Shift and select this one as well. And you should have both of these selected now. If you go up to Object, go down to Clipping Mask and click Make, you'll see that the design is now only included within your Clipping Mask boundary, which is exactly what you wanted. However, the other problem we have now is that it's also going inside the middle border. So what happens if you need two clipping masks? What happens if you want to keep a part of an image, but you want to keep a part of an image on the outside and then erase something on the inside and then also have like two clipping masks, taking out two parts of an image but keeping one part of an image? You can do that too. Now if you want to use your pen tool and draw some sort of shape around here, you can very easily do that with your pen tool. However, I think there's a better way to do this. Let's go ahead and delete our shape. And let's just use our rectangle tool again. This time, we're going to go ahead and draw several rectangles. We're not just going to draw one recto rectangle, but several ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did before. And I'll go ahead and speed this up real quick so uh, you don't need to watch all this. So all I basically did here was create several shapes. You know, I just consistently made new shapes with my rectangle tool, and they're all their individual layers here, as you can see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our shapes here. And I think that's it. Yeah, just these four shapes. Make sure you select them all. So make sure the buttons on the, on the right side here are selected. Then go up to Windows and go to Pathfinder. And Pathfinder is right here. Then on the Pathfinder dialog box, there should be one button that says Unite. And there's the Unite button. Go and select that. And this will automatically turn all of your shapes into one shape. And then, very similar like we did last time, go and select both of these layers here, your design and your shape. You gotta make sure you have both of them selected. If you don't select both of them, your clipping mask won't work. 
So I have both of them selected. Go up to Object, Clipping Mask again, and Make. And would you look at that? Now we have the design, not on the inside where our title is, but only on the outside where our borders are. So that's kind of how you do it. Now, if you only wanted to get a portion of an image, say for example, we have this vector design, which you just use in our other card design, but say you only wanted to use this portion here and say you wanted to export this, how would you do that? Well, we grab our pen tool and very similarly, we just start drawing a shape around the things that we want to keep. So just draw a shape around here and essentially you're gonna just do the exact same thing. You're going to make a clipping mask. The only difference is that when you export, you're going to export a bit differently than you usually would in Illustrator for certain designs. So as you can see, we made we made our entire uh, selection here. You can go grab your black arrow key. You can move it around and see that's one whole thing. And Control Z to go back again, though. So once we have that, very similarly, we go ahead and grab our design, shift, and make sure both of these layers are selected. And we can go up to object again, we can go to clipping mask, and we can press make. Now, when you export this, you want to make sure you export as a PNG. If you don't export this as a PNG, you're going to get this huge white border around that we don't really want. So if you go to file, we go to export, export as, and we can keep the name like this. And we make sure we hit PNG. This is a PNG. We can go ahead and click export. And make sure that your background is transparent here. If we go and press OK on that, you'll see that we have a picture here with only the bottom right. So we've essentially cropped out in Illustrator, even though this is something that you, usually, that you would usually do in Photoshop. It takes a bit more steps, but if you don't want to go back and forth in Photoshop, like I said, then this is a great way to do it. Now, the other problem you may also run into is that, you know, say you've completed this design here. Say you, know, you have what you wanted, you cropped everything out, you only have part of the picture here that you wanted, but now you have this giant... Uh, other piece of the design that's just being hidden by a clipping mask. This is still going to get exported in your export. In fact, if you hit Control Y on your keyboard, you'll see that there's actually still content outside of your artboard here that's going to get exported. And you'll see that when we actually export this, you might run into the exact same problem. You click Export As, and you know we, we just let's say we just save it here and we save it as a JPEG, for example. Here's JPEG, we go ahead and hit export here, highest quality, that's fine. And if we open this up, you see we have this huge uh, white space, the white border. So why is this happening if we already cropped our image in Illustrator? Well, the reason why this is happening is mainly because you have to export a certain way. You have to go to File, you go to Export, Export As, and you want to make sure you hit Use Artboards. And you can keep all selected. Make sure you check this box. So if you check this box, that whole problem will be solved. Now, if we go ahead and click OK on that again, our picture is actually the way we want it to be without the white borders around it. So that's basically how you crop things or how you cut things out. If you only want a certain part of an image, that's how you do it in Illustrator. It takes a few more steps in Photoshop, but it is still very possible and doable. And if you want to avoid, keep on switching back and forth between Photoshop and saving things and loading things, then this is how you do it in Illustrator. Now, if you know of any of the better techniques and if you know of any other easier ways to do this, definitely leave it in the comments section below because it will definitely help me out. It will definitely help a lot of other people out watching this video as well. So if you're watching, please check the comments section because there may be someone who has found another really cool, smart way of doing this and it may be a lot easier and a lot quicker as well. And that's pretty much the tutorial for today. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave your questions down below in the comments section. I'll be down there answering any questions you have. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We have plenty of other tutorials on Illustrator coming. We have Photoshop tutorials, video editing tutorials, all kinds of Adobe tutorials, as well as tutorials on free programs such as GIMP and Audacity and OBS. So lots of cool software help on this channel. If you're interested in that, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. And if you want to check out another video that might interest you, go ahead and hit the annotation right here. If you want to check out my latest video that I did on the channel, go ahead and hit the annotation right here. You can also check out my vlogging, gaming, advice, and music channels by clicking the annotation here. And if you want to donate a dollar to Patreon, it would be very helpful as well. The annotation is here. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. This is GSMail Smart. I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.